grade three, welcome to your new extension learning journal. From now on, you are invited to share your work with your class. We will be using this as a place to capture and celebrate all of the learning that you're doing from our Wednesday extension options or anything else you might be doing that's helping you grow as a learner and a person right now during this virtual time. Once you've made your own copy of this journal, you're gonna share it back to me or your teacher so that we can insert the slides with your photos, videos, and links into our class slideshow. Remember to always add an explanation as a caption so that we understand what it is you're sharing and can see your thinking and learning process better. Let's follow the steps. So in order to do this, we have to get organized. The first thing you're gonna do is make a copy of this journal. Let me show you how to do that. So you go up here. If you haven't already learned how to do this, click File and make a copy. And I'm gonna encourage you to make a copy of the entire presentation, but you can delete some slides if you need it. Then instead of my name or your teacher's name, you're going to say your own copy. So my name is Jennifer, so I'll put Jennifer's extension choice, but you'll put your own name at the beginning and make your copy of the document. As you can see, that'll open up a new tab with all of the slides, but now it has your name in front so that we know who this copy belongs to. This way you'll have editing rights, so you can add pictures, videos, or any links to work that you want to share with the class. But in order to share it with the class, you have to send it back to your teacher. So be sure to go up and click share so that you can share it with your teacher and then type your teacher's name. Since this is mine, I'll share it with Miss Vani because she'll need to have a copy of it as well. And I'm gonna click send to send it to her. But the other thing you wanna do to make sure that everyone else can see it as well, once your teacher's adding your slides to the class slideshow, you can also go up and click the share button and then come down here to the advanced settings where you click on advanced and you're gonna change this setting, the people who can access. And instead of having it only to specific people, you're gonna go up and say that anyone with the link can view. So notice I'm not saying anyone with the link can edit, only anyone with the link can view. And that way everyone in class will be able to see the work that you're sharing. And you're gonna save those preferences and look, I've shared it to Ms. Vani, so she still has editing rights, but now anyone with the link can also view it. So your teacher can edit it, but only the other students will be able to view it. That way they can see your work, but don't have to worry about it getting changed. So that takes care of that. Then you have your own copy, and you can add start adding in all of your work on Wednesdays or any other days that you do extension work to boost your learning at home and we're excited to see everything that you might share. Of course, as always, if you have questions about how to use this journal or how to make a copy of it or anything else around your new extension learning for Wednesdays, please reach out to your classroom teacher. We're here to help. Thanks so much, bye.